Hi everyone, excited to be live this morning and really excited to be joined by Lisa. We're going to be doing a yoga um, class this morning, um, a fertile yoga, it, the idea behind it, um, and hold on one second as Lisa's about to join us, but the idea behind it is that a lot of times when we're going through fertility, finding our center, finding our mind-body connection is so difficult, um, and leaving us in just a second um, so that she can teach us this yoga experience. Hello, how are you? Um, I was just talking a little bit about why this is so important and why you are so excited that you're joining us today. How are you doing? I am thrilled to be here. I'm very excited. Yay, amazing. So excited that you are here with us and joining us today. Um, I can say personally, I desperately need this. I walked out the door this morning for the curtain to fall and hit me on the head just as I was heading to my office. So it's been already a morning and it's only 9.30 here in LA. So I'm very excited for these couple of minutes of just looking inside and finding that sense of calm. So thank you for giving us this opportunity this morning. And I guess before we even start, can you take a minute just to introduce yourself to our incredible Yish Tikva audience? Yes, absolutely. Um, my name is Lisa Rosenthal, and I have been a patient advocate for fertility for the last 32 years. And 12 years ago, founded Fertile Yoga, which is, we've since done research at RMA of Connecticut, and um, it is sort of as a research-based style of yoga. And it's really designed, it's just designed. I, I know I needed it when I was going through infertility. And I did a lot of training to, to discover more about like what is really effective about uh, what, what can you do in yoga that's effective, what is helpful, what, can, what claims can we really make? So mainly we're looking to reduce stress and sadness and maybe increase hopefulness. That's what the research shows us it can do. And I'm excited. I'm like thrilled. I'm like nervous, <laughs> a little nervous. I totally feel that. Um, it's so awesome that we are trying this new way of sharing yoga. Um, I know that you had mentioned that this is your first time doing it on Instagram Live. So I'm excited that we get to explore this space as a way to bring um, your fertile yoga experience to our community. And I remember something that you had mentioned, and I think that this piece was so important, is that though it is intended for those who are in struggle um, and facing uh, fertility challenges, that these exercises that you're going to teach us are something that anyone could do. So friends or family who are supporting a loved one in struggle, who need that space to find self-love and compassion in this their part of the journey or in any journey could use these tools to, to find that. And so I'm excited Absolutely. that. Infertility first impacts the person who's trying to conceive, but then it really, all friends, family, colleagues are affected by what that person is experiencing, right? Because their mm -hmm. behaviors change, their attitudes are changed, they need more support. So this class is really for anybody, absolutely anybody who is cleared by their doctor to be able to sit and breathe, they can do this, this class. Amazing. Yeah. So let's begin. Teach us. Excellent. And forgive me, this is also, we may have some little visitors here. I have two cats who, who ignore me completely, except, except if I'm doing yoga. That's so, amazing. Um, yes. So I'm, we're going to do five minutes. And I really like to start by getting into a comfortable position. Um, this is comfortable for me right now. Lying down is super comfortable as well. So when, when I say comfortable, I'm not talking about how you should feel comfortable, I'm talking about how you actually feel comfortable. So if sitting like this feels comfortable, that's okay to do, even if you think it's not. I'm gonna bring my hands to my heart because to me, it all begins there, right? And I'm gonna bow the light of my mind, my brain, um, my third eye into my heart. I'm just bowing in, just feeling my breath flow in, nourish, enrich all of the cells in my body, and I'm going to feel my breath flow out, releasing everything in this moment that can no longer serve me. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May I bring peace with my breath, with my practice and to my life. So I'm gonna drop my hands to my thighs and they just sort of land there. 
And since this is hopefully the first of a series, hopefully the first of a collaboration, I'm going to start with what I really consider the basics, which are the seven movements of the spine. And I'm going to do it by sitting. So I like to have my sits bones right on the earth. And I'm just going to warm up a tiny bit by kind of stirring the pot. So depending on where you are in your life, in your reproductive cycle, it may look like this. It may be big and wild and gigantic. Whatever's just right for you today, okay? So my inhale brings me forward and my exhale brings me back. And I'm holding on, but lovingly to these knees. And I'm just enjoying relative quiet. I'm only doing one thing, right? Teaching and talking to you. Everything else can sort of fall away. And then I'm going to pause and I'm going to go in the other direction. Exhaling back, inhaling forward, exhaling back, and inhaling forward. And I, you'll notice that I do close my eyes a lot. I just find it very calming and relaxing. And I'm going to pause and I'm going to press my feet out just to take a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to tuck my legs back in. So everything is an invitation in my class and in this style of yoga, right? There are certain things that may not feel right for you. Please don't do them. You are the person that you need to honor today, not me. So if something's not right for you today, please don't do it, okay? So I'm going to inhale, big bright sun breath up, whether it's sunny or snowy, exhaling down through heart center and just gathering up steam. Inhaling up and exhaling down, right? Just really giving myself this nice big stretch. The next time I'm up, my fingertips are touching. Your arms may be out wide, any modifications you need. I'm dropping my left fingertips down and just sort of tenting them, not leaning on them. And I'm going to reach up and I'm going to look up. I'm going to exhale and float over, right? And I'm pressing my sits bone down, so I'm really moving into the side of my body. And I'm going to spin my heart up towards the sun or the light, right? And just breathe. And I like to twinkle my fingers. Almost always, I end up starting to smile. And if the corners of your mouth turn up too, enjoy it. So I'm going to inhale all the way up. Big, bright sun breath, right? Twinkle the fingers, sort of lifting your heart, maybe lifting your thoughts, maybe shifting perspective just a tiny bit if the day hasn't been going so well. And I'm going to drop and I'm following the movement of my arm. I'm admiring my own body right now and all the wonderful things it can do. So I'm going to lift up, right? So now the other hand is down and I'm lifting up and I'm stretching out as though everything I wanted in my life was about a sixteenth of an inch away. Could I lift a little higher? Yeah. Maybe not 10 feet higher, but a sixteenth of an inch, just a little higher. And I'm going to exhale over, planting that sits bone down so that's not really popping up, spinning the heart up, maybe bringing the gaze up, softening the shoulders, breathing into the side of my body, feeling the power of my own breath. And then finally, inhaling all the way up, exhaling the hand to the heart. I'm going to take my right hand, placing it on my left knee. I'm taking my tented fingertips and I'm placing right between behind my hips. And depending where you are in your cycle, I don't want you to twist too far. So it may be that we inhale up, keeping my chin over my chest. I'm going to exhale over. Inhale to face you in front. And exhale, big twist or little twist, depending on where you are. Inhale forward. And exhale out. Inhale forward. And exhale in. And then pausing right here, now letting my chin drift past my shoulder letting my eyes drift even further past and just breathing. My shoulders are soft, right? You, you can feel the undulation of your spine. Inhale, come forward. And I'm gonna switch my hands, bring 
bringing my fingertips behind me, sitting up nice and tall, keeping my chin just directly above my, my, my heart. And exhale. Inhale, almost all the way forward, right? Facing each other. Even though we are doing this remotely, we are still together. Exhale. And inhale forward. Wonderful that I can feel your energy. And I get to see your beautiful smile here. Inhale forward. And exhale. And then pause here. Let the chin drift back. Let the eyes drift back even further. So you're really accessing deep into the brain, which is where your endocrine system lies, right? The endocrine system is the ruler of your reproductive endocrine system. So the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus. Inhale and coming forward. So we've done four movements of the spine so far. One, two, three, four, and finally, my favorite, and I'm just gonna turn sideways for you to see. My, again, I'm just giving those knees a little love, and we can do this on our hands and knees, you can do this standing. The exhale, I'm allowing my belly to come to the back, towards the back of my body, my chin towards my chest, compressing the thyroid gland. Inhale, floating forward, shoulders down, lifting up. And there's the extension through the neck and the throat and the entire spine and the thyroid gland. Exhale in the back. And inhale in the forward. This is a great pick-me-up if you're cutting back on coffee. Great pick-me-up if it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Because you're literally um, just gently sort of massaging the thyroid gland. The next time we're right here, we're just going to pause for a second and just close the eyes if that feels comfortable and look into your heart space. Maybe give yourself a little thank you or a great big thank you. Maybe for something that nobody else is going to thank you for today. And then shine the light of your heart way out and up. Right? And exhale, coming back to neutral. The seventh movement of the spine, which is not always um, mentioned, is I'm going to place my hand lightly on the crown of my head, and I'm going to press up even as I press gently down. And just feel that beautiful length of my spine, sitting up tall, finding my right-sized self, yes, neither broken nor completely perfect, but perfect in its imperfections. And then I'm going to float my hands back to my heart and bow into my head. I'm going to just breathe into a space where I exhale the word words I am and inhale calm. Exhale the words I am and inhale peaceful. Exhale the words I am and inhale the word strong. Exhaling I am, and inhaling resilient. Exhaling I am, and inhaling whole and complete. From my heart to yours with love and respect, namaste. Five minutes of yoga, and I don't know, Gila, how long that was, actually. Hopefully, it was around five minutes. That was wonderful. Thank you, Lisa. I am excited to be able to rewatch this and actually participate in doing it myself. Just listening to you and watching you brought me a sense of calm, so I can only imagine that in doing it, how much calm and love that brings to one's body. So I thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. My pleasure. And please... You know, please just remember, you know, being kind and tender to others starts with being kind and tender and compassionate to ourselves. So with that, namaste. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.